Uh, I think we actually may have. Uh, it looks like the phone. I'm going to answer this live on the air. Uh, good morning, The Wolf. We're on the air live. Hello. Hey, it's Travis Starrett, Reddick PD. How are you? Hey, how are you, Mr. Police Officer? Not too bad. Not how are you? Good, man. Appreciate you uh, taking a second to join us on the show. Uh, we are live on the air. Just if you can hang on a second. Uh, I wanted to kind of set the stage because uh, my co-host, Jess, who uh, obviously is a uh, social media phenom. She's all over the Internet. And, uh, Jess, you came across this picture of the uh, police officer that's joining us on the phone. I guess it was, what, Saturday night to Sunday morning it showed up on my Facebook? It showed up on my Facebook feed. Like, eight people shared it and all the same thing. So now, uh, officer, uh, say your last name again. Stir it? It's Stir, yep. Stir it. All right, perfect. Now, we appreciate, again, you coming on the show. So you set up the story. So the picture of you holding the owl, how did this all come about? What happened? Well, myself and uh, my partner, Officer Simmons, were just on a routine patrol in the town of Red Oak, and we uh, started heading north on 9G by Bard College, and uh, we happened to see a uh, car making a U-turn in the middle of the road, so we kind of took a closer look, and as the car was turning, we saw a, uh, what, what turns out to be an owl in the middle of the roadway. So uh, we got out, and uh, I've never dealt with an owl before. They don't really teach you that in the police academy. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> You look like a natural with yeah, the you're like owl a bird handler. On your arm. Yeah, I, I I can't tell you what I was thinking, but I put my gloves on and just uh, put my hand down there, and the thing crawled up on my arm. I couldn't believe it, so my partner took a picture, and that's history. Yeah, so you put it up. Uh, I see it was on the uh, the Red Hook Police Department's uh, Facebook page, and uh, it literally went viral here in the Hudson Valley, where there were you know almost three thousand shares, five thousand likes. And- but wait, before we get to the real issue here. Was the bird hurt? Was the owl hurt? Well, when we first got to it, it, it's one eye was shut. So we're thinking either it, you know, flew into a tree or maybe got clipped by a car um, and was probably dazed. Yeah. But um, after a few minutes, it kind of got its bearings and flew off into the woods. So. Now, uh, okay. I don't know, uh, officer, if you listen to the show on a regular basis, but I cannot stand owls. I, I heard. I yeah. heard, actually. But. I, I am uh, probably the one person in this world that would have uh, not done what you did. And I'm just saying. Neither but, would I, though. I yeah. hate birds. Yeah. Like, that. my first instinct would be like, okay, I guess we should yeah. leave it there. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, the uh, the picture goes viral. People are seeing it. And uh, people are commenting on said picture, not because you've done your police duty and, and saved, saved the owl. An owl. But uh, people are pretty infatuated with the way you look, my friend. I got to say. I, I think it has to do with the lighting and the, maybe the uniform just a little bit. <laughs> uh, a humble guy. That's got to be better. it. It's got to be it. But uh, I know <laughs> that uh, if you haven't seen the picture of uh, Officer Sturrett and the owl, it's up on our uh, website at HudsonValleyCountry.com. Uh, Jess had posted this up on Facebook, and it did not take, I swear, it took 30 seconds for us to find out that you're newly engaged. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it always comes out, but yes, I'm happily engaged. Very nice. Uh, congratulations. congratulations. And uh, your fiancé had uh, left a comment up on uh, up on our Facebook page as well. I, I, You know what I love is some of the comments that we, uh, that we got. Um, they said uh, Angela checked in and said, Red Hook Police Department might want to capitalize on all of this and do a calendar for next year. And they're wondering, Officer Sturt, if you'd be interested in doing a calendar. You know, my fiance and I talked about it. It would be a great way to get some fun for our wedding, so it's not out of the picture. There you go. I was going to say. There you go. It can See, be capitalize on this. Put together a, uh, putting together a wedding reception for friends and family is not uh, not cheap, and uh, I would like to offer up my uh, my DJ service. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Musicbycj.com. But uh, how long have you been a police officer? Uh, almost six years. Almost six years, and have you spent the entire career in uh, in Red Hook? That's correct, yeah. Uh, we appreciate you uh, obviously protecting everybody uh, up in Red Hook. And it's and- nice to see, like, a good story about, you yeah. know, local law enforcement. I mean, it's funny, it's silly, but it's still really cool. Yeah, it's funny, it's silly. Absolutely. And, uh, Officer, she puts the, uh, the, 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 the title of the website page. It says, Hot Cops of the Hudson Valley. And I'm starting a trend. Now she wants us to do, like, a hot cop pageant. Because, listen, <laughs> I understand, yes, you're very attractive, but there's got to be more hot cops in the Hudson Valley. We could make a whole calendar with the different... Different counties. I have a Hudson. bunch of I have a bunch of friends that are police officers, and uh, none of them look like Officer Sturridge. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend. My friend Sampras uh, works over in New Paul's. He's a pretty attractive guy. We'll put him on December. He's uh, newly married too. See? So, but uh, we wish you uh, obviously nothing but the best, uh, Officer Sturridge. Best to the uh, fine folks over there in uh, in Red Hook, and uh, tell your fiance thank you for being a good sport with this as well. All right. 
I appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot for your time. All right, man. Be safe out there. Thanks again. Officer Sturt from the uh, Red Hook Police Department. Uh, a good sport. Good sport. And, uh, again, if you want to see the uh, picture we're talking about, please go online and uh, check it out at HudsonValleyCountry.com. And uh, ladies of the Hudson Valley, you know what, Jess? I'll let you read what you posted up on the, uh, up on the website. <laughs> because I'm not asking for help with this. Oh, well, this I'm is all you. You find if you find some more attractive Hudson Valley cops, or as I like to call them, hot cops of the Hudson Valley. Yeah, send them my way, Jess at HudsonValleyCountry.com. We'll make. I'll make my own calendar. I'll put it up a digital calendar on the website. Okay. Now again, we have to do a little bit of a disclaimer here. I don't recommend going through any of these municipalities with uh, hot police officers no. and speeding just to get pulled over. No, don't do any of the speeding because they're going to give you a ticket. You're, you're not getting out of that one, yeah. and I can't get you out of it. I have no yeah. pull whatsoever. But if you know a hot cop of the Hudson Valley, feel free to send them my way. I'm going to enter my friend, uh, my friend Sampras. Yeah, go I'm gonna for it. I'm going to send you the picture I of him. told you, December. He'll hate me, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, 818, uh, again, thanks to Officer Sturrett and the uh, the Red Hook Police Department for, uh, for coming on the show this morning. Quick break. We're back after this. Hang on.